What is up everyone? Welcome to Spade Outdoors. And on this video, we're going to do a little bit of talking here. If you've paid any attention at all here lately, the news, the fur industry is really under fire from a bunch of different cities. We got New York City now, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and they're all trying to ban fur products, all fur products, and their cities. And if you can have a chance, make sure you vote to stop this bill and voice your opinion too. I know I did see CBS had a poll on the New York City one, so make sure you vote no for that. Because we need to stop this. Because what these people don't understand is, this is you ban all this in their, uh, if you ban this in the city, you're taking away jobs from people, you're taking away money from people, and you're just, you're hurting the economy. You know, there's a lot of hands that go through that uh, build up to the top. You know, you got your trapper out there, he catches the fur, and he might go sell it to, you know, process, scan it out, everything else. He might sell it to his county fur buyer. And then he's going to buy it from the trapper. So, the trapper gets money from him. And then he's going to take it. And he's going to sell it to North American Fur Auction or the Fur Harvesters Auction. And then it's going to get sold there. So then he's going to get a paycheck. You know, someone from China... Canada, even U.S., Greece, Italy, Korea, you know, someone from one of those countries or other countries is going to buy it, and he's going to take that pelt, and he's going to make it into some type of garment, and then that's either going to be sold into his country, or it's going to be sold, taken back to the U.S., and then sold in the U.S., so there's a lot of people that this band is affecting I mean quite a few steps there a lot of people it's affecting so it's really gonna hurt them it's gonna hurt the economy it's gonna hurt a lot of things so that's why we need to put an end to these people trying to stop this trying to trying to destroy trapping in the fur industry that's what they're just they're trying to do I don't know if you guys seen the video from the Truth About Fur, posted like two weeks ago about the video over in China. One of these animal, animal activists paid and bribed these two really poor Chinese people to go skin a raccoon while it was alive just so they could film it. So they basically put the animal through torture to get video to destroy the industry. Now, if you're a true animal rights activist, wouldn't you think that you would you wouldn't do anything to harm an animal? But yet you, it's all right for you for an animal to be harmed as long as you can put an end to something that that's not even how the animals are done. There's so many rules and laws that there is no animals that get skinned alive. If you hear that, you can take that. And just throw it out the window because it's not true. Stop believing it. Whoever's telling you it doesn't know what they're talking about. There's no animals that are skinned alive. There's a lot of harsh rules and everything else that pr protect the animals' rights too while going through the process. So, so with that being said, it's very humane. You know, like wild animals, the trapping, you know, Watch, watch all the videos on YouTube on Truth About Fur, and they put a lot of ideas out there and show a lot of ways on how the fur industry is very humane and is not horrible like everyone tries to make it look out to be. I mean, they show videos of ranch making and everything else, and there's no cruelty to them. They're, you know, they're euthanized humanely. And everything else they're not skinned alive you, like animal rights activists trying to make 
us look absolutely ho like horrible people. So, so there's nothing wrong with the fur industry. Fur industry is great. It's been around forever. It's humane. It's better than ever. I mean, it's all the ways things changed and all the science and everything else. It's more humane now than it ever has. And it's just going to get more humane through research and everything else. So, and then also, all these people now, it's all flats fur, which is just fake fur made out of polyester, other stuff, oil, plastic, stuff like that. That's what everyone says, where it is, not real fur. But these same people that are all saying that are also the same people that go out and say, well, we got to go ban plastic straws or stop using plastic straws because they're bad for the ecosystem and everything else. But yet, let's go wear fur jackets, fur hats, and everything else made out of fake fur, which is made out of polyester, plastic. So, and it's you know, no big deal. You know? So we're just going to go harm the ocean instead of using, trying to make everyone stop using you know, plastic straws, you know, I want to go, I'd like a straw with my Coca-Cola after I get my freaking Big Mac from McDonald's, but can't use that. But, because it's harmful for an environment, but yet they have, they have yet to understand that plastic is what is used to make fake fur, and that is harmful to the environment. They haven't got that through their heads. And also... Real fur will last about 30 years. So your, your real fur jacket will last about 30 years. Your fake fur jacket, that will only last about 6 years. So, you're going to go through quite a few of them before one real fur jacket goes out. So just think of all that pollution that you're putting in through all the fake fur, all the polyester, and especially the whole full fake fur jackets, they break off. And that gets washed into your water, you know, and there's, they're finding it in like 73% of all tap water particles. It goes past water treatment centers, going into the ocean, little particles that you can't see, but it comes from the fake fur, from the washing machines, everything else. So, why would we use something that's made out of plastic? for jackets when we can use something that's biodegradable, renewable, and does no pollution at all. Because it's just gonna it's just gonna deteriorate just like it would if the animal got hit on the road. The fur is just gonna deteriorate after time. Now you gotta do some treatment when your fur jacket to keep it up and running to make it last thirty years, but it's just gonna overall it's whenever the jacket's done you can just base you can throw it on the ground and it's just going to deteriorate like it would naturally. So, why use something that pollutes something and then that you're going to have to buy like five of them in order to, uh, you can go through, have to buy five of them for the same amount of time that one fur jacket would last. So five, one, what do you think does more pollution? Definitely the five. And the real fur doesn't do any pollution. The fake fur pollutes and just causes a lot of damage to the climate, the ecosystem, everything else. So, overall, which is the winner? Real fur. So, everyone, I want you to stand up and stop all these people from trying to ban fur products. It's just let people wear where they want to be. This basically just sounds like communism, more or less, is what these people are trying to do. Tell you you can't wear this, you can't wear that. Eating. and trying to basically all they want to do is they just want to stop this industry they want to harm a lot of people like me and you who rely on the fur industry for money you know whether it's trapping you're a fur buyer you make garments whatever are you just like buying the stuff wearing them they're trying to affect all of us so stand up and don't let them do this to this industry and the fur trade and everything else all I want to say is thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.